All right, so today I'm going to be showing you a uh, new version of the Dayhawk Scout that I will probably be releasing. I haven't entirely decided on it, but this is a quick guide tutorial so you can kind of see how it works. Um, it, you don't need the macros for the chat log and stuff like that, so your screen's not all spammed up. Um, right now I'm logged into the Dayhawk Classic UI. Um, the main thing that makes this version work is the font that you use. You need to be able to click font size and resize it. When you click font size, you should see the font visibly change sizes. If it doesn't, you're going to need to run whatever UI program you've used to change it to a resizable font. I normally use Bison's UI with overpass font on size 11. Um, with this classic UI, we have to use like font 18 to make it work because the font is just too small. So to get started, we're going to right click in the window. We're going to click new window. We're going to take this and we're going to drag it out. We're going to right click in it again and we're going to go to message and channels and we're going to uncheck everything. All right, and then we're going to go back down here and check action. You can change it to any color you want. We'll change it to, let's change it to green. All right. Now I can already tell you this font right here, size 11 is too small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to, it works on 16 for sure, but 18 would be your best if you're using the classic. Like I said, it really depends on what font you have installed with your UI as to which side. So you may want to just play with the sizes to see where you're getting the best results. So once you got your font set, you're going to drag the window just enough so that it shows that information. So when you click somebody, it has their name and their class. Then you're going to move this somewhere out of your way on the screen. We're going to put it, let's just put it up here. Let's move this hot bar down here. And we're just going to put it right here. All right, so what you're going to do now is you're going to go to your scout folder where you extracted it. You're going to right click on it and run as admin and then click yes and it should pop up all right first run detected please configure so you'll click ok these little question marks are little tutorials that kind of show you when you click it it'll pop up a little short video that shows you how to do it but since you're watching this video you don't need to click those so step one we're going to click set position we're going to go to the inside corner of our chat window. We're going to hold our right click and drag. As you can see, it's getting darker like you're selecting it. Once you have all that selected, release the right mouse button. Click Save Position. Position Save. Click OK. Step two, you're going to click Move. It's going to pop up one of my character names. And you drag this to where you want it to be. After you've got it where you want, push Escape. It'll say coordinate saved, click OK. Now you're free to minimize this. Your scout is configured. So whenever you click somebody, it's gonna automatically update down here. So there's Glow Mist. Let's see. Super Namui, Devuk, Lilaria, and Miskeen. That's all there is to it. You want to also make sure this window that the alpha is 100% so that it's dark. If it's not, you're going to have interference by stuff in the background and it may not update. Like, see, it's not able to read when I click because there's stuff in the background. Um, as you can see, it's not updating. So you definitely want window alpha to be 100 so that it can detect that and update it. The same goes for if the font size is too small. So we'll put this at 11. And I will set the position because it changed since it's smaller. Save position. When we click them, it doesn't update. It may get lucky sometimes and be able to detect it, um, which Miss Keen was already there, so that didn't update. But as you can see, it's not, for the most part, detecting our targets. So you will need to increase the size until you get it where it will detect. So we just set it on 15. We'll set position. Select it all. Save. All right, now let's try it. 
Glow Mist, Tiki, Super Nam Way. So see, it works on 15. Like I said, you may just need to keep increasing it until you find a good spot. Um, usually if it's reading it, I go up to the next setting just to make sure. Because if it works on 15, it's going to work better on 16. Um, because some characters could be, it could have a hard time distinguishing between it. So as you can see, it works. I'm going to go ahead and log off and swap to the custom UI, which I use Bison's UI with uh, non-shadow resizable overpass font. So we're going ahead and logging off. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this window because we'll create it new once we log in. All right. Options. UI custom scan except play. I'm going to go ahead and exit the scout program. All right, so we're logged in. This is our custom UI. Um, as you can see, the font is different. So we're going to right click, new window. And we're going to drag this out. Message and channel, uncheck everything. We're going to leave action checked. Change it. Let's make it red this time. Did I uncheck it? It did. Make sure it's checked. So there we go. <laughs> now we're going to click someone and resize this window. And you put the window anywhere you want. We'll put it, let's just put it right here. We're going to run the scout program. And we're going to click set position. We're going to right click and drag to select this area. Click save. Then we're going to click move. We're going to drag this wherever we want it. Let's just put it beside it. Escape to save it. Then we can minimize that. And now when we click somebody, it should update. And like I said, it's going to depend on your size of the font as to, or your style of the font as to what um, size you need. As you can see, this font is size 13. It'll work with even size 10. Set position. Save. So we're size 10 of this font. And it works. So like I said, it's purely going to depend on the font that your UI is using, what size you need it to be. Um, like I said, this is overpass, non-shadowed. 10 works. I run it myself on 11 when I play. So, But 10 definitely works. Anything else is better. But you don't want a huge, I mean, you don't want something like this on your screen. So, I mean, you know, you want to make it realistically you know, something that's not going to take up your whole entire screen. I mean, because that's like half of my screen right there. But that said, it does work with that as well. We'll click set position. Highlight it. Save position. Miskeen. Glow mist. Run down here real quick. Dari, Lightspeeds, Quetzal, Leland. So, like I said, you just need a large enough font that it's legible. Um, and like I said, that's going to depend on your font style. Uh, with the classic UI, I think the font is Arial. With Bison's, I use the Overpass because all the other sizes or styles aren't resizable. Um, and that's the key component. Like I said, and make sure your window alpha is 100%. Your other windows, it doesn't matter what they are or the sizes. It doesn't read any of that, only the area that you select. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can contact me in the Discord.